We've been telling you about a weak dollar, and today ECB President Jean-Claude Trichet warned against currency volatility, emphasizing that America's strong dollar policy is important and didn't manage to stop the dollar's downward spiral. Our Sarah Eisen covers currencies for us here at Bloomberg. Some saying that strong dollar policy maybe not official policy any longer. Margaret, as the dollar continues to weaken, the euro continues to scale new highs. Euro has just been on a tear, 6.4% gain in the last three months. So why is the euro so strong? Well, I keep hearing the same thing from strategists, and that's, it's not the dollar, it's it's the anti-dollar, and that's really helping the euro. Derek Halpenny of Bank of Mitsubishi, Tokyo Mitsubishi, he says that this is really one of the only things going for the euro. The eurozone economy is relatively weak. He says if if you look on a relative basis, there's no evidence that it's in better shape than the rest of the world. So this mm -hmm. anti-dollar factor is really helping it. Also, euro is the second most liquid currency, which makes it a popular dollar alternative. And he says that these levels are very overvalued on the euro. Look at PPP, Bloomberg's PPP, purchasing power parity, that shows that the euro is 24% overvalued on these levels. All right, thank you so much, Sarah Eisen. We're going to continue to follow the currency story because it seems to be dominating the equity and the commodity story so much these days. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Mm -hmm.